good morning students welcome everyone to the another session on fundamentals of accounting class today session uh, we will be discussing about a single entry system a single entry system record each accounting transactions with a single entry to the accounting record which means each and every business transaction or accounting transaction having one effect we have already discussed in double entry system each and every transaction will have a dual effect the first effect will, will be call it as debit aspects and the second one it will be credit aspects but coming to the single entry system each accounting transaction will be having a one effect the core information tracked in single entry system is cash payments and cash received any payment done by the company to the outsiders as well as the payment received by the company from the outsiders are mainly are recorded in single entry system and this particular concept or this particular system mainly used by the small business firms asset and liability records are usually not tracked in a single entry system and we should have a separate system to track the assets and the liabilities in an organization so dear students next uh, we will be uh, discussing about what are the process involved in single entry system total three steps involved in single entry system the first step is the preparation of a statement of affairs and the second step is preparation of statement of profit and loss and the third step is revised statement of affairs so we will discuss each step one by one the first step is the preparation of a statement of affairs and this is the first step involved in the single entry system the ultimate objective of the preparation of statement of affairs is to ascertain the capital in an organization so we can prepare an opening statement of affairs to calculate the opening capital and also we can prepare a closing statement of affairs to identify the closing capital or else we can prepare a combined statement of affairs to ascertain the opening and closing capital as well and this is the first step and the format and how to calculate everything we will be discussing in the upcoming sessions the second uh, step involved in the involved in single entry system is the preparation of statement of profit and loss this will be the second step and the main objective of the preparation of statement of profit and loss is to ascertain the profit or loss position in an organization so in this statement we will be taken into consideration all the expenses incomes gains and losses everything we will be taken into consideration and with the help of this particular statement we can able to identify the gross profit as well as the net profit and the last step involved in single entry system is the preparation of revised statement of affairs uh, it is nothing but it is uh, something equivalent to the balance sheet of our normal double entry system the main ultimate objective of the uh, uh, this particular step is to identify the financial position of an organization all the assets and the liabilities in an organization will be considering here especially in this statement to identify the financial position so dear students these are the three uh, important uh, steps uh, involved in a uh, single entry system and uh, how to prepare uh, the uh, statement of affairs statement of profit and loss and the revised statement of affairs everything we will be discussing in the upcoming sessions so as of now i am expecting that this particular concept is clear for you uh, thank you so much for your time have a good day ahead thank you so much